seen a defense like uh, Alabama's? You know, I coached for 57 years. I thought I saw a lot of them, <laughs> but I did. <laughs> but I did not. Yeah, they were. They, they were just. It was just probably the most most physical defense. I believe. I think. I think I've seen most physical. You know, golly, to try to line up and and ram the ball down their throat. That's suicide. But you have to remember one thing. It was a great defense, but it was the biggest game they could play. That's when you could tell they're great defense when they are in clutch yeah. and play that way. Yeah. Coach Saban, are there any compliments that you hear that, that stand out more than others to hear coaches like this say these kind of things about your defense? Well, you know, first of all, it's not my defense. It's our defense. You know, we have a lot of people that contribute to that. There are a lot of great players playing on that defense. Uh, I think they were truly a lot of warriors that played on that defense. I've never had a trainer week in and week out come up to me and say, you know, Mark Barron's hurt this week, Dante Hightower's hurt this week, Jesse's hurt this week, but these guys are warriors. They'll be there to play in the game and they'll compete in the game as hard as they, they ever have and will never even know it. And I think that's a tribute to the character, the competitive character that the players have. And the coaching staff that we had, Kirby Smart does a fabulous job with our defense. He calls you know, the whole thing. We help them plan it, but uh, we had a good staff all the way around that engaged with these players for a long time, not just this year. This this was a work in progress, you know, from the time these guys were freshmen, they developed into what they became and influenced them to do the right things, to play the right techniques, to have the discipline and the work ethic that you need to sort of reach your full potential and uh, impacted them in a lot of positive ways, personally, academically, and athletically. So. Uh, this was a great group to coach, special. You know, most people think that, you know, it's normal to win championships. It's normal to, to want to be the best, but it really is. It's normal just to get by. I mean, that's human nature. So this is really a special group of guys. We had a special team. Uh, upsets me a little bit that we had a pretty good offensive team, too. Uh, and I think the offense played great in the championship game as well. They controlled the ball. Uh, I mean, to have seven field goal attempts to score one touchdown in the game, is, you know, that's done a pretty good job against a pretty good defense that LSU had as well. So um, we had a really good team, uh, and the defense was special, and it was because it was a special bunch of competitors, and the coaches did a fabulous job with it. Coach Bowden, once you got Florida State established, they got up there on that plateau and were top five year after year after year. Do you picture Alabama being on that same plateau? I, I think Alabama has a tougher time just because of what you said about the SEC. You got too many good teams. I mean, I, I don't know how you, I don't know how you keep winning that, in that thing. You know what? If we don't take one slip up, you're out. Uh, so, it, it, does that, is Alabama capable of doing that? Yeah, but everybody else is better too. You know what? But if they did it, it wouldn't surprise me. We didn't win our division this year. <laughs> you talk about the Warriors. How how is the team physically heading into spring practice? I, I, you know, we have a lot of rebuilding to do. We got a lot of young players that are going to get an opportunity. We had nine players at the combine, so obviously we lost some good football players on both sides of the ball. Uh, but I've been pleased with the way they've worked in the off season, and uh, we're looking forward to spring practice, and I'm sure they are as well. Some off season surgeries. How are those those guys feeling? Everybody's fine. Time for one more, guys. Uh, Coach uh, Trent came out and said, you know, he was hurt, had the knee scope. Obviously, was he real limited in, in the championship game? No, he, he he really wasn't limited at all. I don't even think he knew he was hurt. I, I, what happened was he got hit with a face mask. Somebody was laying on the ground and he ran by and the face mask, you know, caught his knee. And he was hurt for a day maybe, a little bit, but really didn't have any issues with it. Didn't think it was a big deal. Didn't even complain about it. Didn't even get treatment. But then after he played the game and it didn't sort of go away like to think some nagging little injury should, uh, we checked it out further, did an MRI on it. Uh, and he did, it was a real minor injury. Very minor. Let's go. Rick, did you? I'm sorry, Jim. Yeah, Coach Bob, you, you're always going to be connected with Coach Paterno for the win. Just your thoughts 
thoughts on his life and his passing? And I didn't know if the other two gentlemen wanted to uh, check in on, on that subject. Joe Paterno is one of the greatest lessons in life. That, that I don't care how good things are going, you better watch out. You know what? I mean, here's a guy that for 60 years, nobody did it better. I had to write an article about him about 15 years ago. And I, I remember I, 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 they put it in a magazine. I said that when Joe re retires, he'll go down as the greatest coach ever. I really thought he would. 60 years at one school and, and stay out of trouble and graduate his players, you know. Then all of a sudden, this thing came up, and he didn't, he didn't have anything to do with it. You know what? But evidently, he didn't respond like they thought he should, and, and it just ruined him. I can't believe it. Now, he ain't here anymore. You know what? Because I've known him for very close for years. And uh, again, it's a great lesson for all of us. You better watch your life. You know, you, you take away from it just like that. Thank you. Um, for you, for the 